Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 2. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to truly thank you for everything. Lord, I can see why you have angels just literally just there saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty, who is, who was and is and is to come. Because you are worthy to be praised continually, forever and ever. And we know we as mankind will fail to do this. Sometimes we only praise you in our good times and when some hard times come we might ignore to praise you but you have instructed us to be thankful in all situations and i just pray this is us this is what we are doing those who profess love for you that we are actually being obedient to what you have told us to do and how to honor you because you have told us and shown us how to honor you in obedience in spirit and in truth by following after you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, Lord, this morning is just, it's just a thank you. Yes, we ask that you continue with us as always, so that we are able to give you the thanks deserving unto you. But this morning, I just want to thank you for everything. And for everyone that is struggling in Thanksgiving, because all of us struggle at times. I just want to pray that you, you open our eyes to see that in all situations of life, there is yet still something to be thankful for. In the highs and the lows, there is always something to be thankful for. And if we continue in you, in endurance, in perseverance, in long-suffering, overcoming all things, we know that the end of all things is joy, peace, love, happiness for those who love you. And those who are to inherit that kingdom to come, in which only dwells goodness, your goodness. Lord, we just ask that you keep us patient in all things. Keep us aligned to your good, perfect, holy and acceptable will. Do not look to do anything outside of this. This is why we have committed our lives and our whole self unto you as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. We want to be made before you for your reasonable use. And Lord, as we abide here and we go through the various seasons of life, the various tests and trials, I just pray as always that every single time we are acing these tests, we do not want to even get 99.9, .9, we want to get 100% every single time and it is possible because you lord jesus christ have you have done it and you can do it in us so yes sometimes we do even now we, we fail at th things or we sit reset the test and you're helping us to pass it but we want to get to that state where we're passing it a hundred percent of the time with a hundred percent so i just thank you for that as always, we just want to pray that we continue to abide in your word for godly instruction and for learning also. And that you continue to lead us by your Holy Spirit. That you continue, as always, Lord Jesus, to help the youth also to be guided in this way of righteousness. Knowing that the world and everything in it is trying to corrupt, to deceive, to misguide, to steal, to kill and to destroy the youth. But... We who are yours will be able to battle, having your full armor girded on to battle, especially for the vulnerable, so that we all may be partakers of your inheritance in that time to come. And that, Lord, you continue to equip and help those who are in charge of the youth also to protect them, protect their minds, their hearts, the soul, the bodies, protect all aspects of them, Lord. 
And as always, Lord, I want to just ask that you do so by still by doing what you have done from the beginning, which is to ordain and to sustain godly marriages, helping to protect against the influences of this world and all the things that are there to try to, to break up what you have put together. We know that nothing can break what you have mended. So I just pray that you mend and protect these this, this institution of marriage because presently the world has tried to belittle it to nothing, to nothingness, but we know we are not of this world and we know the importance of what marriage is because it's a foreshadow of you loving us, your bride, your wife, the church. So I thank you for all things. Lead us as always in spirit and in truth in your word this morning and every morning to the glory of God, our heavenly father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay. So first Samuel chapter two, verse two says, there is none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our God. Amen. So the heaven, the heading on my Bible says Hannah's song in thankfulness. And even my prayer this morning, you would have saw that it's time to rejoice and give thanks for what the Lord has done. You can imagine. If you keep doing something for somebody and all them do are complain and whine and all of these things and never say thank you. So we don't want to be the ones that um complain and whine all the time to the Lord. Obviously, we do want to express to the Lord like, Lord, I'm struggling here. I'm not, I'm not doing well here. Right. But even in that, remember to always give thanks in the times when he does answer us in the times that he does bring us through these times if you know the story of hannah hannah had a husband named elkanah right and there he had two wives hannah and penina penina right hannah never had any children she was barren penina had quite uh, a few I, I can't remember how much she had but she had a few um children and i think she always make hannah feel some type of way right yeah but the lord saw the, when hannah went up to to inquire of the lord right the lord saw her heart and saw that she was genuinely someone who wanted to please the lord because she, having no children she asked of a child of the lord but she didn't just ask for it selfishly she said you know what lord when i get this child i'll, I'll give him unto you i'll i'll, I'll pretty much just dedicate him right back unto you which she did right and she had a son called samuel and if we know the story of samuel samuel was one of those those righteous prophets like i don't believe there is any account in the scripture of him doing anything like like messing up i can't recall right so he's one of them you know them people like a joseph or, or samuel or a you know, them, them people, they don't really have no record of like them fumbling. Not to say they were like super perfect. We don't know. But I'm just saying in the scripture, there is no, there is no account of that. So, right. So Hannah did get that child. And this here in this chapter was the she rejoicing and being thankful. Right. Is her song in thankfulness. As this first verse says, she prayed unto the Lord. And verse one just started off the, how she started, how, what what state she was in she said my heart rejoiceth in the lord mine horn is exalted in the lord my mouth is enlarged over mine enemies because i rejoice in thy salvation and again there's none holy like the lord because he alone is holy right there's none besides him there's none equal to him there's none greater than him he is literally god alone right and he has made himself known to us through and by our Lord Jesus Christ, right? And um, we know who is our rock. Our rock of our salvation is exalted, who is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I said, just these things, it's enough to be thankful for. 
and this morning we just want to give thanks right so we're going to end it at that this morning um as always anything that you want to share or anything like that drop, drop it in the comment section or send it in to the word at eachreach1.org it's in the description and as much as the lord has led me taught me and kept me over the years i will answer them according to his word according to his principles according to his will being led by his holy spirit have a blessed day everyone and god's willing we'll catch up again tomorrow